Hi, this is Chris Wisnia. I am in Davis, California in my studio thinking about my Doris Danger giant monster comics and about the, the whole premise and what excites me most about the project, uh, which is the conceit that uh, the, the nature of comics is, is the, the serial uh, idea of having to sell a new issue every month and get readers interested to pick up the next issue each time and what this means is ending in a cliffhanger and uh, beginning the next one solving the cliffhanger but getting them in another cliffhanger um, I read an introduction to Alan Moore's Swamp Things and it, it talks about this how uh, comic books by nature have no beginning and no ending they just go and go and go forever um, and so I, I was thinking about that when, when I first started putting this together. And um, the, the aspect of it that was interesting to me was um, if, if a book has been running this way for years and years and years, a lot of stories have come and gone. Um, nowadays, the, the way we consume stories is very different. You, you get onto Netflix and you binge watch the complete season one and then the complete season two and so on. Um, when I was a kid, there was no such thing as, as that. Uh, in comics in particular, they came out every month and I didn't have any comic shops near me where I could pick up back issues. So um, I, I would just buy that month's issue um, at the, at the local grocery store or 7-Eleven and if I didn't make it back the next month I didn't get to read the next month's issue and maybe a friend had an issue uh, from six months ago or something like that and so um, the stories I read weren't in chronological order and they had a lot of holes in them um, and so I, I wanted to kind of address this uh, this way of experiencing a story where uh, you, you don't have the whole story but the the way the stories are constructed you you get enough of the story that you you can kind of make your way through it with without having the story that came before the story that came after you you understand who the good guy is and who the bad guy is and what what they're trying to accomplish and um, this, this was a very freeing concept for me trying to write in this way because it made me realize if I uh, wasn't interested in what came next, I just didn't have to do it. And I, I could just stick with uh, what I hoped would be the, the best aspects, the best and the worst aspects of uh, you know each, each episode week to week, so to speak.